Okay, well, I think probably the first thing to sort of talk about is that um, mares are seasonally polyesterous, which means that they have um, a set number of cycles throughout sort of spring through to early autumn and then stop cycling over the winter, or the majority of mares do. And it is sort of the effects of uh, daylight hours on the brain, on a small gland called the pineal gland, which affects a mare coming into season. Uh, lengthening daylight hours will decrease a production of a hormone called melatonin from the pineal gland, which is right in between the lobes of the horse's brain. And that sets a cascade of events um, and hormone release that eventually leads to the sort of development of follicles and the start of a maturation of a follicle ready for the mare to start cycling and then hopefully be, be covered. It's a very complex um, chain of events and there is a sort of one hormone that you can, you, know, you can change that could affect a lot of hormones but the main thing really is to try and mimic the effects of daylight lengthening on horses and the way that we tend to do this is, is maybe bringing horses into a barn so often in the northern hemisphere we'll put horses under lights um, and that has been proven to start horses cycling it usually takes um, putting the mares under lights from between 10 and 16 hours a day um, usually 16 so start at perhaps 6 in the morning and finish at 10 um, some people start by putting them under light straight away for the whole duration of that time. Other methods are to gradually increase 30 minutes a week to try and mimic that, you know, the similarities of, of spring and, and lengthening daylight hours. But that has proven to help to stimulate mares to start cycling. The other option would be um, devices that emit a low level light, such as the Equilume, that can be attached to a mare's head collar. And that does very much the same thing, although it's timed, um, usually between 4 p.m. and 11 p.m. and it's time to switch on between those periods. And that again allows a more um, light um, to be placed into the eye that will then mimic increasing daylight hours and hopefully then start the mare cycling, release that cascade of events. Um, those follicles start to, to be you know, produced and hopefully the mare then kicks into gear.